What is ISO? ISO is one of the three primary settings to dial in for a properly exposed photo. We'll talk about how ISO affects your photos and what ISO values I'm usually shooting underwater. Make sure also that you check out our previous videos on aperture and shutter speed so that you're in full creative control over your camera. Your choice of aperture and shutter speed are very subject dependent. These settings affect how much of your subject is in focus and also whether or not there's any motion blur. Your choice of ISO is environment dependent. It will make a global change to your image's brightness. Your ISO setting will affect the range of shutter speeds and apertures that will produce a properly lit photo. You want to make sure that these three variables are balanced so that your photo is properly exposed when you pull the trigger. A photo that's much too dark or too light will lack color and detail in the final result. Your ISO settings on the camera typically range from 100 to 128,000 or even higher. Digital cameras produced in the last few years are capable of capturing clean images all throughout their ISO range. When I'm shooting flash photography underwater, I'm most commonly shooting in the ISO range of 100 to 200. I choose low ISOs because in flash photography, I'm providing the light artificially. When I'm shooting natural light photography without strobes, I don't control the light. So I have to base my ISO on the overall light in the surrounding environment. In low visibility conditions, in swim throughs, caverns, caves, I'm gonna be shooting higher ISO values like 640, 800, or even 1000 plus. Whether I'm shooting strobes or natural light, I'm rarely changing ISO in between shots on any particular dive. I focus on changing my aperture or my shutter speed. If I can't get a good exposure within these variables, then I increase or decrease the ISO accordingly. So for example, if I'm gonna shoot dolphins, I know that I need a fast shutter speed of a 600th to an 800th of a second. So I'll set my aperture around F8 then I increase my ISO until these settings provide a properly exposed image. That's about all there is to it. If you have any questions about ISO or underwater photography, leave us a comment below or reach out to us via iClight at iClight.com. See you next time.